Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have a really easy card for you that I think is pretty spectacular. I love the little hugs die here and also the dazzling diamonds paper and let's not forget this naturally eclectic designer series paper. One of my favorites in the new big catalog. Let's get started and I'll show you how easy this card is to make. Our cardstock layers involve a scrap, and this one's giant, but you really only need three and a half by three and a half for this. This is the Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper, and oh my gosh, isn't it gorgeous? I love this. It's the bling that'll make our card really pop. So three and a half by three and a half. Then I have a card base of Peekaboo Peach that is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. A piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. A piece of the naturally eclectic designer series paper, and this layer is four by five and a quarter also, and then an envelope. Don't forget your envelope. We need to stamp those up too. First thing I'm going to do here is take my card base and burnish that edge good with my bone folder. And then I'm going to show you these lovely words thinlets. You get three of them in a pack, a circle, an oval, and a heart. And here's what they look like once they've been die cut. So aren't these fun? Now, you can just cut this out of the front of a card like we're going to do today, or you can match these up with our layering ovals, layering circles, and our sweet and sassy hearts and cut these images out to use them as a single item on a card. So there's a lot of fun things you can do with these. I've been having a blast with them. This, I've had them since the new catalog came out and this is the first chance I've really gotten to use them much. And I'm telling you, I have to go um, to my stepdaughter's camper later today and as fun as that's gonna be, I almost wish I was staying home so I could play. Shh. Don't tell anybody. It would be very embarrassing. Let's see. Fun with family at the camper or stay home and stamp by myself? Mm, you know, it's a big decision. I will be going to the camper. I need that social outlet. We are going to use the thinlet that says hugs on it. And I'm just going to place it right here on my designer series paper. Let me bring my big shot in so you can see how great this is. Just going to place it right in the middle of my designer series paper. I'm using the magnetic platform and one cutting plate on the bottom and one on the top. Okay, here we go. Now, when you pull this out, look it. Ah, it's like magic. And it does come off nicely, too. Doesn't get much easier than this, does it? Okay, as long as we have our big shot here, I'm going to show you what I did with the Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper. I put my layering circle, and this is the scalloped one, on this cardstock and ran it through the big shot. Okay, so that gave me this. Now I'm gonna take one of the circles in that same set of framelits and I'm gonna put it right on here and run it through my big shot again to give me that frame that's gonna go around my die cut hugs image. All right, let me get this big shot out of the way so we can see what's going on. And here we go. You are gonna have this circle left over and you can keep this and use it for something else because we could never throw something so gorgeous away, could we? I know I couldn't, so I'm gonna save that for something else. But here's our frame. Oh, look at how dirty my fingers are. Like I told you I was having fun. So here's our frame that we are going to put on the designer series paper and that's just going to really make that little um, die cut image pop for us. So let's bring in our card base and 
I am going to bring in my silicone mat. Now this is funny because somebody asked me when I put down a scrap of paper to do my gluing, they said, Kelly, <laughs> they left me a comment. Why aren't you using the silicone mat? And I'm like, well, you know what? I just didn't think of it. So thank you for reminding me to use this mat because that's what I had it for, right? I'm gonna use a sponge and my liquid glue to get some glue right on that detailed die cut. And that's like the best way to do that. And then you just wash the silicone mat off. These are amazing. So let's get this on our card front. I'm telling you guys, this card is so simple. And then we're gonna come in here and turn over our glimmery scallop, whoops, and use our glue again on the sponge because that's just such a much easier way to do this and you don't get glue squirting out all over the place, which you know is very frustrating and disgusting and it gets all over and then it leaves the shiny mark on the front of your card and do you wanna know how I really feel about that? It's maddening, I'm telling you. All right, then I've kind of been obsessed with the crinkled seam binding lately because why? It's amazing. I am going to make a double bow with my bow jig and all I'm gonna do is wrap it around twice and that looks a little small I think I'm gonna pop it out here I'm gonna wrap it around two times and then tie my bow Oops. and I do have a video on how to use these bow jigs they are the bomb and that wasn't long enough let's try that again okay I'm gonna pull a little bit more off here wrap it around two times that was a little much. And then under, over, and tie in a bow. And this is where you make things look all neat. This isn't all bent and twisted and whatever. It's nice and neat. This is how you make your bows look very nice and neat, is to pay attention when you loop it around there. And you don't need to pull it super tight. Now, what does this do for me? Well, Kelly, it doesn't look any different than any other bow, but watch this. Now I've made my bow bigger by doing a double bow, and isn't that pretty? It goes good with the ink on my finger. <laughs> Just kidding. I know, I get kind of obsessed about that. It's like, geez, you could have gone and washed your hands first, right? To be such a mess all the time, but I guess that's just how I am. You know I'm having fun if I've got inky fingers. Okay, glue dot is going to be the way we adhere this to the front of our card. Super cute, just like that. We've got our double bow here. You can kind of pull it out a little bit more. I think maybe I should have trimmed these up just a tad bit. So let me do that. They're a little longer than I would like them to be. Oops, I gotta clean my scissors. They're having some issues. Now, I've said that before, but I still haven't gotten to it. I actually said I need my husband to clean my scissors, right? Okay, now I'm going to bring in the matching stamp set with the paper, and it's called Oh So Eclectic. You guys have seen me use this before. It's an amazing bundle. I, again, I, I recommend it. You can do so much stuff with this. I've made a bunch of cards over the weekend with this. And I also have a gazillion swap cards using this bundle to show you guys. So um, stay tuned for that. That'll probably be coming out next week. I'm still waiting for a few in the mail. I wanted to stamp a little something on the inside of my card. So I'm going to just use this flower. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, and somebody told me it actually looks like a bagel. <laughs> so flower, bagel, you have both. That's what you call versatile, right? Now I'm bringing in black. By the way, this was Peekaboo Peach. Now I'm gonna bring in the black center. And there's a whole bunch of uh, little center images that go with these flowers. And next I wanted to do just a little bit of 
some leaves here. Let's see, where do we want to do that? How about if we just, let's go right here. Pretty? It's kind of dark, isn't it? It'll be okay. It'll lighten up. So, leaves, flower. Well, you know what? That's just really bothering me. You know how I am. Let's come down here. Oops, I have some ink on my fingers. Let's just put a little bit of leaves right there. I don't know if I like that or not. It's getting better. <laughs> we'll just keep stamping until Kelly's happy. There. That makes me happy. And then, where did our envelope go? Right here. Here comes our envelope, and I am going to stamp my flower on the envelope also. Don't forget to decorate up those envelopes. There's nothing like putting a smile on somebody's face. When they open their mailbox, they don't even have to open the card and they're already smiling. Just that little extra effort goes a long ways, you guys. And they know. They can hardly wait to get back in their house and open their mail because they know they have a handmade card especially for them. And even if you didn't make it specially for them, you don't have to tell them that. They won't know. They'll just think it was specially made for them. All right, here we go. How pretty is that? Super easy, love, love, love. Here's the Naturally Eclectic Designer Series paper. If you haven't seen this from me before, it is amazing. And you can order this paper. It comes in 12 by 12 double-sided sheets. You get two of each pattern. You can order this at www a stamp above.com. You can go right to my Stampin' Up! store if you need any of these supplies. I would appreciate it. It keeps these free videos coming to you. So let me know. What do you think? Oh, I know. I wanted to tell you this. Look what I did to this one. I used the other side of um, some designer series paper in the same pack and I made the inside a little bit different. Which one do you like the best? Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions too. I'm always happy to answer questions. Add a little sparkle to someone's day. Send them a card.